For me, 2018, my goal for this year is to do things that I've always wanted to do, but I've always been scared to do. Um, so one of them has always been to start a YouTube channel. My channel is kind of just going to be about like, obviously my life, but my life as a medical student. Kind of like the nitty gritty behind the scenes, what it's like to be a medical student. What I wish I knew before coming to med school. Um, just kind of a beat the learning curve. Why I chose to go into medicine, why I'm here, and all of that. My name is Ala Alechi and I'm 23 years old and I attend UT San Antonio Law School of Medicine. I'm a second year medical student and we're about to start a second semester. Almost done for preclinicals, just one more module. Um, I, I'm from Houston, Texas. I went to Rice University. Um, I also think I want to talk about in my vlog is global health. Global health, obviously, as an immigrant from Nigeria, is important to me. Something I really see, felt like there was a need, and something I'm really, really passionate about. So I do want to talk about global health. Um, I, when I was an undergrad, my senior year, I went to Haiti, and my first year medical school, I went to Dominican Republic, where I worked with a Haitian and Dominican population. And I'm going back this year as a second year med student, as a trip leader. So I want to talk about like, all my past experiences with global health, what I learned, the good, the bad, and just kind of vlog my experience now as a trip leader, as a trip coordinator, and then vlog, hopefully figure out how we're going to do that, <laughs> but vlog my experience, uh, vlog my time while I'm, in Haiti, while I'm in Dominican Republic. I'm going to be going for three weeks again. I kind of feel like I'm a not traditional medical student because I never wanted to be a doctor. Like, it feels weird saying it, but growing up, I wasn't, not, not people person, but I, I never really thought I wanted to go into any kind of industry where you directly interact with people. Like, I never thought I was going to be like, I might get to the law of being a lawyer, but I thought I was going to be like an engineer. I actually started undergrad as a bioengineer. So I was going to do something of that source. I mean, maybe when I was a little kid, I wanted to be a model before I realized I wasn't going to get taller than five, six. But things like that, I never thought I was going to go into medicine. When I started by university, I, I entered as a bioengineer. And um, my first semester, I took an intro to engineering design. And very quickly, I learned that I couldn't do that for a semester. There's no way I could do that for a school year. Like, it was to the point like we had a group me and me and my team members and I had blocked all their phone numbers. I really, for me, really, engineering wasn't for me. So after that, I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Like I knew I wanted to go into something, I don't know, like where career was kind of certain. I didn't want to go into anything where I was going to graduate with a degree and I was going to kind of have to fight if that makes sense i don't know as an immigrant with, with a different name and as a black female i kind of feel i don't know i just kind of wanted to go into a career that i felt i could do a lot with in my future and also in picking a career i wanted to pick a career where i could travel like some industries and some skill sets don't necessarily transfer well from country to country but being a physician obviously you have to retake some board exams and do some more training but medicine is medicine everywhere so I wanted a career that could go well from country to country and if you're an American trained physician you can really practice in a lot of places so that's kind of why I picked medicine I am I took a I think it was a nutrition class and I really liked it, the health aspect of it and then I the summer after well, I got hired in the spring of my freshman year of undergrad but the summer really started the summer after undergrad I started scribing in the emergency room I scribed for two and a half years I quit my um, fall semester of senior year of undergrad and scribing honestly is one of the best experiences I've ever had like even now Emergency medicine is something that I'm really considering. I really enjoyed my time. Not everyone who was in med school now loved the scribing experience, but for me, it definitely pushed me to go into medicine. So in my sophomore year, I really decided, okay, bet. I think I want to become a doctor. And um, 
I like Jen, so you would think everyone was like, everyone was supportive, but people were shocked, my family members, because no one thought that I would want to go into medicine. I don't, for them, I didn't have like the personality type. Not that I'm not altruistic, but they just didn't seem like something I would want to do. But if you know me, I would do whatever I want, regardless of what people think is for me or not for me. So I made the decision to go on the path of becoming pre-med and making the steps. The summer after my sophomore year, I did SMVP. I think the name has changed now. It's like Shep or something like that. That internship got to meet other black pre-meds and that even and see shadow doctors and kind of see more and more about the industry and it kind of felt like okay this is really the fit for me I, I was it was hard but it wasn't miserable being pre-med and then I applied my senior of med school and I got accepted and I came straight from undergrad so as a late starter into the pre-med game I think I can have a I can give a lot of advice on to how to really become competitive. Because when I finished my freshman year, I had a 3.0 GPA. Freshman year was really hard because I was in a major, when I was, as an engineer, I was taking 17, 18 hours both semesters, which engineers have to do, but if you're pre-med, you don't really have to do that. And I was taking classes that was really miserable. And like the intro to engineering design, I learned a lot from it, but I was so miserable. So it, my GPA really suffered and it was really a time intensive course. So how I raised my GPA, how I became a competitive applicant, got multiple interviews and got into the school that I wanted to. UT San Antonio was where I felt I needed to be and I'm here and I'm very, very, very happy with my show. I just really wanna be open and candid on my channel, talk about all of that, have all those conversations that I wish you had had with me before coming to med school in terms of friendships, dating, relationships, time management, what you're giving up, what you're losing, social media, all that kind of stuff. I really want to show you guys what it's like from a, not just from a black male perspective, but from a medical school, a general perspective. And if you're a professional school, a lot of this stuff kind of transfers over if you're in law school or dental school or PT or nursing. Like, obviously, I think medical school is the longest time followed by well, medical school and dental school. I think law school is only three years, but it's a long time to kind of give up a normal life but now this is obviously a normal life for me now a year and a half in so i really just want to show all that that's another thing um this is kind of our first well we get a four weeks off for summer but most of us do like a preceptorship and i went on a global health week trip for three weeks so i really only had one week off and then had for that, for my trip in the summer. I had a couple of days off for Thanksgiving, but we had a lot of independent study. And then I had one week off for spring break. But this is my first extended period of time, get three weeks off since last winter break. And obviously you get a lot of advice from a lot of different people. A lot of people tell you, enjoy this. MSK, which is our next module coming up. We have anatomy and it's a really hard module. Take that time, relax, sleep, party, have fun. and. So you're not like burnt out before you get to, before you start again. Cause right after MSK, maybe you have a couple days off. You're gonna go back into studying, studying for your board exam. Some people are like, yeah, use this time. Start preparing for your board exam. Do this, do this, watch videos, read. Just get at least a couple, eight hours, eight hours, 30 days in, you know? So I'll be able to give you advice. I think one thing that's we get to find the advice that works best for you. So that's just I did kind of start going hard. But obviously, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm doing a lot of stuff for my global health trip. I'm, no, I'm not studying anymore. I'm spending time with a lot, a lot of friends. Obviously, coincidentally, a lot of friends came home. My best friend, Anna, came home or came to visit. This is the first time I've seen her since almost two years since I've seen her. Because she's in the Navy, and so she's based in California. So when she's free, because I'm a student, I may not be, I may not be free. So we just really kind of miss each other. So it was amazing. She's back in Cali now, but it was amazing to just talk to her, sit with her, spend time with her, and a lot of other friends who I haven't seen in years or in months, or even people I've seen in Thanksgiving, but it's still good to see them again, obviously. So just, it's been an amazing winter break. I'm kind of sad. It's kind of like, oh, 
couple week, couple days left of winter break and I'm kind of not looking forward to it. I'm so excited for 2018, but I'm not looking forward for winter break to be over, but it is what it is, isn't it? So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe, hopefully you guys love what I have to bring and share with a friend who you feel like this may be encouraging or it may be good to see someone going through a journey like this. Oh, 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 oh,